Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invests. Thus far in my mission, I have created six videos on companies I expected to do a video on. Those companies all have aspirations to grow in the future, and they are growing. And these companies have not been profitable, or if they have been profitable, they have been profitable or operational cash flow positive for very long. The company I'll be featuring in today's video, however, is completely the opposite. This company has been on the ASX for a while. It uh, is not a growth company. In fact, it's the complete opposite. It's a pure income play. And that company is Reef Casino Trust. This company, when you look at their revenue through time, so I got about 15 to 18 years of revenue data, you will see that this company's revenue has not grown at all. And the reason why they're not growing revenue is because all that money they make in this company, they give back to the shareholders as dividends. In fact, their dividend yield right now at a share price around $2.40 is between 9 and 10%. And this company has been issuing dividends for a long time, for at least 15 to 20 years. And if this is the sort of thing you like in your investments, more than likely you wouldn't be watching a video on Appendix 4Cs because this is not the sort of company that actually issues Appendix 4Cs. So this is a bit of a surprise to me. In fact, I have done no research on this company in the past simply because this is not the sort of company that I am attracted to because it is not growing at all. It is all about giving back all the money it makes back to the shareholders as dividends. Reef Casino Trust encode RCT market cap of 120 million. Revenue over the past 12 months, 15.6 million. This company, of course, was affected by COVID-19, but they have come out of that. They're in operations. I think they suspended operations for a short period of time during 2020. So they still have revenue over the past 12 months and operational cash flow positive, 8.4 million. Dividend yield, 9%. There was, I think, one half year where they didn't issue a dividend. And over the past 12 months, they have issued two dividends. I think one was about nine cents. The other one was over 12 cents. And that means 21 to 22 cents of dividends with a share price of about $2.40 means their dividend yield is 9%. If they can maintain that sort of dividend yield over the next 10 years, that could be a good sort of income stream uh, for any of those people who are wanting that in their investments. Uh, if you want more information on their Appendix 4C, they released that on the 15th of July. Before we look at the June quarter Appendix 4C and the operating cash flow of Reef Casino Trust, let's go back to the March quarter. And the reason I want to do this uh, for two reasons, um, you can see how cash is leaving this company during this quarter uh, because mostly of dividends. Uh, they paid $4.9 million of dividends, and means their cash on hand went down from 4.1 to 1.6. Of course, they don't pay dividends every quarter, it's every half year. So since they pay dividends in this quarter, the next quarter they should increase their cash on hand because they are not paying any dividends. Receipts from customers, $6.7 million. I'm not sure exactly how this trust works. They do describe themselves as the owner and operator of the casino. However, they also mention they get... Um, a rent from the casino, and uh, so I'm not exactly sure how that all works. Uh, it's sort of a convoluted structure this company has, uh, and I didn't really want to delve too deeply in the research. However, receipts and customers 6.7, I think a lot of that is the rental from the casino, and because they don't have a lot of costs, most of their costs is administration and corporate costs, which were about $4 million. And they were operating on cash flow positive for the March quarter of $2.7 million. And of course, because they paid $4.9 million of cash of dividends during the quarter, the cash on hand went down a fair bit. So let's see how that compares to the June quarter where they didn't have to pay any dividends. And in fact, the June quarter was a little better when it comes to receipts. Receipts for that quarter was $7.8 million. And administration and corporate costs actually went down a bit. So they were operational cash flow positive by $5.8 million, which is fairly high, particularly when they only paid $4.9 million of dividends for the half year. So they, if they can keep this sort of cash flow moving forward, they could increase their dividends. And in fact, they increased their cash on hand by $5 million from $1.6 
to $6.6 million. And that means they have a lot of room to actually increase the dividend. So potentially that dividend yield will go up. This is only potential if they increase the dividends. That dividend yield could go up if the share price stays at these levels. Because this company is a pure income play, which means most of the money they make, they give back to their shareholders as dividends, you will see no growth in this company's revenues through time. So this is their yearly uh, revenue cash flow from operations and dividends per share going back to 2004. Uh, the revenues have not grown at all. In fact, they did go back last financial year, but that's all because of COVID-19. You will see some years it is a little bit lower and then some years it's a little bit higher. But roughly between about, we'll say between about 18 and $25 million of revenue every single year. Um, but most years it's between 20 and 25 million. And operating cash flow is just a little bit lower than that. And dividends per share, roughly between, we'll say 20 and 25 cents. Some years it's a little bit higher and some years it's a little bit lower. Previous financial year, only 10 cents of dividends, but they're back up now to 22 cents in the trailing 12 months because it was just that one half where they didn't issue any dividends at all. So this, you can just see by this simple graph that this company is not growing at all. They only care about giving back all that money they make to the shareholders as dividends. When we look at the monthly chart for Reef Casino Trust going back to 2003, we can see that this is not a growth company because the share price isn't going from the bottom left to the top right. In fact, the share price has been trading in a bound between $4.40 and $1.60. The ideal time to buy this company is when the share price moves towards that bottom end of that range towards $1.60 doesn't get there very often. It's only been there down, down to those levels twice in the past 18 years, once in 2010 and 11, and then again during the COVID-19 financial panic, the ideal time to buy this company. And any time it gets towards the top end of the range, above $4 is not the time you want to be buying into this company. And again, it's only reached that, uh, that price level twice, uh, once just before the GFC, and then again in 2014. The reason why the only time, the only price you'd buy into this company uh, at the bottom of that range, say $1.60, is because at that price you maximize your dividend yield. If Reef Casino Trust can maintain the sort of dividend per share they are paying, say between 20 and 30 cents, if they can sort of maintain it towards the higher end of that range, say 30 cents, if you buy into this company at $1.60, that dividend yield will be more than 15%. That's a good return on investments every year for this sort of company because more than likely, this company will maintain their revenue and their dividend per share for the foreseeable future unless there's some sort of regulation from the government. I don't think governments would put any sort of regulation to harm this business moving forward, although there would be some sort of lobby groups um, that might sort of target casinos or gambling in the future. You, def you never know what might happen in politics over the next five to 10 years. So there is a price to buy this company. And right now, the share price is $2.40. So it's closer to the bottom end of that range than the top. And even at these prices, you are getting a 9 to 10% dividend yield. We might see the dividends increase over the next few years. So that dividend yield actually could go up from these share prices. That is all I have for this June quarter Appendix 4C video for Reef Casino Trust. This is not a company I thought I'd be featuring in this video series, so I'm happy to do it. Uh, simply because it's a new company to me. I've never looked at this company. I've never had any desire to look at this company. If you have any questions about this company or any other company on the ASX, leave a comment in the comment section or a question, and I'll answer anything you have to say in the next few days or next few weeks. I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's all for this video. Have a good day. Bye.